Hello friends, welcome to Quick Anatomy Revision. I am Dr. Poonam Kharp. The topic for this video is cubital fossa, which is a very important topic from upper limb. Often a short note is asked in your exams. The question is usually describe cubital fossa under the following headings. A. Location and boundaries. B. Structures forming its roof and floor. C. Contents. And D. Is applied aspects. What is cubital fossa and where exactly it is located? Cubital fossa is a triangular intermuscular space which is seen as a shallow depression in front of the elbow. Now let us see which structures form the boundaries of the cubital fossa. As cubital fossa is a triangular intermuscular space, so it will have a base and opposite to that will be the apex and there will be two other sides of the triangle. In this picture, three bones can be seen, humerus, radius and ulna. As radius is laterally placed in the forearm, so this will be the lateral aspect and this will be the medial side. Two muscles can be seen, one on the medial side, this is pronator teres and the one on the lateral side is the brachioradialis. It is very obvious by its name itself, brachioradialis. As the radialis word comes here, that means it has to be placed on the lateral side. So let us see the base. How is it formed? It is formed by joining of the medial epicondyle with the lateral epicondyle of the humerus by an imaginary line. The apex will be formed where the pronator teres meets the brachioradialis. The medial border or the medial boundary will be formed by the lateral border of pronator teres. This will be the medial border of it and this is the lateral border. The lateral boundary will be formed by the medial border of brachioradialis. Which structures form the roof of cubital fossa? The structures present in the roof of cubital fossa would be lying superficial to this triangular intermuscular space. So let us see from superficial to deep which structures are present. Obviously, the most superficial structure has to be skin. Once we remove the skin, then what do we find? We find superficial fascia. We all know that in the superficial fascia, we have cutaneous nerves and superficial veins. So in this case also, we will find two cutaneous nerves of the forearm and a vein there. So the two cutaneous nerves are the medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm. This is a branch of medial cord of brachial plexus. And on the lateral aspect, we have the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm. This is actually continuation of musculocutaneous nerve. The vein that we find on the roof of the cubital fossa is median cubital vein. We can see here, this vein is joining two other superficial veins. On the lateral aspect is the cephalic vein and on the medial aspect is the basilic vein. Then after that, we find deep fascia and the deepest structure in the roof would be the aponeurosis of the biceps muscle which is known as bicipital aponeurosis. Which structures form the floor of cubital fossa? There are two muscles which will be present in the floor of the cubital fossa and these are in the upper part we can see here this muscle is brachialis and in the lower part near the apex we have the supinator muscle. Let us see which structures form the content of cubital fossa. From medial to lateral, these are the most medial structure we can see here. This is the median nerve. Next to that is the brachial artery, which we can see here is dividing into ulnar artery and the radial artery. The third structure is the tendon of biceps brachii and the fourth structure is radial nerve which is dividing here into superficial and a deep branch. So the four main structures which form content of cubital fossa they are median nerve, brachial artery, tendon of biceps, brachii and the radial nerve. In this picture we can see some details of the contents of cubital fossa. The most medial structure which can be seen here 
is this median nerve and we can see it is giving a branch to this muscle that is pronator teres. It leaves the cubital fossa by passing between the two heads of pronator teres that is the humeral head and the ulnar head. Next is the brachial artery. The brachial artery here it can be seen is dividing into ulnar artery which is much more deeply placed as compared to its other branch that is radial artery. The radial artery leaves cubital fossa by passing deep to the apex of the cubital fossa. The ulnar artery leaves cubital fossa by passing deep to the ulnar head of pronator teres. So at that point it is the ulnar head of the pronator teres which is separating median nerve from the ulnar artery. We can also see a branch here of the radial artery and this is the radial recurrent artery. The third structure is this tendon of biceps brachii which has been cut from the muscle and this gets inserted onto the radial tuberosity. The last and the most lateral structure is the radial nerve which lies here under the cover of brachioradialis. So that's why the muscle has been retracted so that we can see the details. The radial nerve here divides into a superficial branch which is cutaneous in nature and a deep branch. This deep branch, this passes through the muscle which forms floor of the cubital fossa that is supinator muscle and it supplies it also and then it reaches the posterior compartment of the forearm and is known as posterior introsious nerve. Coming to applied aspects of cubital fossa, two points have to be kept in mind. The first is regarding the median cubital vein. This is the vein of choice for venipuncture. Median cubital vein is used for many purposes like drawing blood sample, for lab investigation, for giving intravenous medicines or saline or for blood transfusion. So why this is the vein of choice for venipuncture? Because it is connected to deep vein by a perforator vein and therefore it is it does not slip when the venipuncture is done. Second thing is it lies over the bicipital aponeurosis and deep to that we have the median uh, nerve and the brachial artery. So bicipital aponeurosis protects these structures during the venipuncture of median cubital vein. Second is that brachial artery is one of the contents of cubital fossa and blood pressure is recorded by auscultating brachial artery in this fossa which can be seen in this picture. Thanks for watching the video and for important question and answers in anatomy you can visit my website that is anatomyqa.com. I'll put the link of this website in the description also.